There has been a huge amount of debate about Harry Maguire since Manchester United's three all draw with Everton. Maguire seems to be one of the major talking points. And when you become the world record defensive signing, there is an expectation that comes with it. And Virgil van Dijk's success at Liverpool has raised those expectations of what United fans expect from Maguire. So in this video, I want to put Maguire in the spotlight. Take a balanced view of all the strengths and the positives that he has and brings to the team and look at the negatives and the weakness. And also going to be looking at your own fan opinion towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole thing. But this is a series I want to do more of in the spotlight. Taking topics that all United fans are talking about and trying to present the facts from both sides of the argument. And also getting to a conclusion. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV and make sure as well you join us on Discord. If you haven't already come over there, I do interactive shows on there. I speak to you guys directly. There's thousands of us on there. So there's a link in the description. Please come over and join in. It's, it's good fun. I'm enjoying it. And I want to do this video to speak about Maguire. So let's put Maguire in the spotlight. In terms of the strengths of Maguire, I think the first one is the most obvious one. His fitness record and reliability is outstanding. He really is an ever-present. And as long as he's not in Greece, he seems to be doing the right things. Maguire... That, that's what you need from a centre-back. You need him to be there every single week and every single game. And in that sense, Maguire is certainly doing something right behind the scenes. So I would give credit to Maguire for his fitness record at United. And speaking of behind the scenes, I think Maguire must be doing something right because he's still United's captain. Solskjaer trusts him. All the players speak well of Maguire. So we're not privy to what happens behind the scenes. But I'm going to give Maguire the benefit of the doubt here and say that he must be doing something right there. Maybe we're not seeing it enough on the pitch, and I'll get into that in this video. But certainly behind the scenes, I think Maguire, he seems to be doing the right things. Otherwise, he still wouldn't be United's captain, that's for sure. In terms of aerial dominance as well, I don't think there's ever been any defender I remember at United winning more headers from corners than Maguire does. Now, you could also put that as a weakness because he doesn't score enough of them, given how many headers he wins. But I would say that United haven't, since Maguire arrived, I don't think we've exploited that strength enough. I don't think our deliveries from corners and free kicks over the course of Maguire's career at United have been good enough. They're getting better now, and maybe we'll see Maguire scoring a few more. But I would say that's certainly a strength of his game. And one thing I was really excited about with Maguire when he joined was his passing range. Because when I watched him at Leicester, he would always break through the lines defensively, bring the ball up the pitch, and it made such a difference to that Leicester team. And that's and England as well. That, that's what I wanted to see at United. So I think his passing range is actually a strength of his game. But I also think it's a weakness in its current form because we haven't seen it enough. And I think that's probably what you could fairly say about the majority of Maguire's strengths. We just haven't seen them enough. And unfortunately... We've seen more of the weaknesses on the negatives than we have of the positives. And there are weaknesses and negatives for sure. And for me, the most important negative that I could use against Maguire is the lack of defensive leadership and organisation. The absolute minimum that we should expect from a captain, an £80 million captain. I don't think the price tag you can really use as a, as a stick to beat Maguire with. It wasn't his choice, but... There is, as I said with Van Dijk, there's an expectation that comes with when you spend that much money, the player that you are going to sign. And the reality is, is that Maguire on the pitch does not lead United. That defence, he should be leading the shape of it, making sure the offside trap is played properly. Not like it was against Everton. That was woeful. But it hasn't been. And defensively, it's, it's a huge weakness. The, probably the biggest weakness that our defence has. And I think... Maguire can be held responsible for that. So can Victor Lindelof, so can other players, so can David De Gea, sure. But Maguire is the captain and he's our centre-back. So if anybody's going to organise and marshal that defence, and certainly from set pieces as well, that should be the easiest thing to improve on the training ground. I'd be really interested to know what sort of defensive work we do on the training ground because we haven't improved in that respect. In fact, we've got worse. And I think a lot of that has to fall on Harry Maguire's shoulders as captain and centre-back. Sure, if he wasn't captain, maybe... It would be harsh to put too much of this on Maguire. But because he's captain, the expectations of what that player needs to do go up a level. And we haven't seen enough of it. Anywhere near enough of that defensive leadership and organisation on the pitch from Maguire. And unfortunately for Maguire, teams know how to exploit his flaws. He's slow on the ball. He turns like a truck. 
And teams know how to take advantage of that. I remember when Spurs did it with Bergwijn, and other teams always do it. You saw it against Everton. They just played a ball in behind and Calvert-Lewin was gone. Now, speed is a weakness of Maguire's game, but no centre-back is perfect, really, in the world. Everyone's going to have slight weaknesses, but it's the fact that other teams can set up and exploit those weaknesses that makes it a problem. Because if you're a good enough defender, you're going to cover up for your own weaknesses. You're going to position yourself in a better place so that your weaknesses can't get as exposed. And I don't think Maguire does that enough. So in terms of the intelligence of, of covering up his own weaknesses, I don't think he does that enough. And something that unfortunately is the case with Maguire is we haven't seen the best of Maguire. And to get the best out of Maguire, you need to partner him with the right player. And that's not really what you should expect when you make an £80 million signing. You should expect to find a partner there to complement that player rather than a player to come in like Bailly who's pacey, powerful, athletic, all the things that, in that sense, that Maguire isn't, to cover up for Maguire's weaknesses. That's not really what you, you, you want from a defensive leader. But it's the truth with Maguire. And we certainly haven't seen the best of him. And to get the best out of him, we need to find the right partner. And that in itself is a bit of a weakness, I think. And while I talked about Maguire's passing range being a strength, the fact of the matter is that he hasn't shown that at United and ball carrying, the confidence or the lack thereof is a huge weakness of this team and this defence because if defensive leadership and organisation is the biggest problem our defence has, the second biggest problem it has is playing out from the back with the ball. We just can't do it. And Maguire is a big part of that. As I said, we saw it at Leicester, so he can do it. But I remember more hospital passes like Maguire seems to put his... Look, uh, take the pass to Dean Henderson against Sheffield United. That was just an unnecessarily dangerous position to put Henderson in. Henderson was certainly at fault, but Maguire should never have passed it there. And I've seen Maguire too, do that too often. Just dangerous passes where he shouldn't be doing it. Now, that has to improve. As I said, Maguire, one of the Maguire's strengths that I saw at Leicester was his ball carrying. His confidence on the ball. We haven't seen that at United. And I just don't think we've seen the best of Maguire yet. And I would list those as probably some of the strengths he's got and some of the weaknesses he's got. But I asked you on Twitter what your thoughts on Harry Maguire were. So I'm going to read through quite a few of your fan opinions. I'm going to try and do this a bit more often because it's interactive and engaging. And I like including your opinion. So let's have a look what you had to say about Maguire. And first up is Abhishek Datar saying he has not reached his full capacity yet. With a fast centre-back alongside him, we see glimpses of his true potential. With Lindelof, he seems subdued and in shackles. Now, I think Lindelof and Maguire, it basically should be one of them playing and someone else, not both of them together. I think Lindelof and, and Maguire are too similar and their weaknesses are compounded when you play them together. They're, they're just too slow. Uh, and you can't be that as a modern day centre back, just in the same way that you can't be a slow modern day fullback. The game has changed, the game has got faster. So I do think that we haven't seen the best out of Maguire. And I, there have been glimpses, of course, there. he's not been a horrendous signing, he's just not had the same sort of impact that Van Dyke had at Liverpool. And for that price, that was the expectation. But we certainly need to get his partner right. I think out of all the centre backs at the club, Baye's the best suited, but his injury record means we can't rely on him. So. You have to find someone else. Tuan Zebe, he's been kind of ghosted a little bit this season. He doesn't he hasn't kicked on. That injury really, really hurt him. But we need a new centre back, and certainly if we're going to get the best out of Maguire, and I think we're going to stick with Maguire. He's 80 million pounds. He's our captain. He's going nowhere. So we need to find the best way to get the best out of him. And that certainly means signing a new centre back. So I would agree there. Good point, Abhishek. Next one here from Anthony Ripple-Teller saying, overrated the defender at Leicester. Wanted him at United, but for less money. I still want him as part of our defence, but with an experienced partner rather than a promising youngster. Now, that's an interesting point there, Anthony. In that sense, what about Upamecano? Is he experienced enough to come in and get the most out of Maguire? Or do we need someone better than him? I think United are going to be mad if we don't go all out for Upamecano this summer. But everybody's going to go after him. 42 million release clause. Pretty much every big team in world football is going to want him. So if United get him, it will be a huge coup. But if it's not Upamecano to come in this summer, who is it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next point here from Pistol Pete saying, he is a good defender and rarely injured. I think because of the fee and the fact that it's United, he is a scapegoat. Just like Pogba was until recently. I think it's time to get Rio Ferdinand back at United as a defensive coach because something needs to be done about the defence. You've made a point there that I made in the video, Pete. 
we need a defensive coach. I think it's quite obvious at United. What, what, what do we do on the training ground? Hell, we're scoring goals left, right and centre more than anybody in the league. But we're conceding more goals than any team inside the top half. So that has to be down to the training. And it's certainly not just all Maguire's fault. So in, in that sense, I would say that sometimes he's fairly scapegoated. And I think sometimes he's fairly the person at fault. And I, that's, that's why I wanted to do this video, because I think it has to be balanced from both points of view. Next comment here from Obsessed with Africa, saying Maguire honestly to me is average, but the good thing about him is that he's consistently average. His, heart, his game hardly drops and he even sometimes lifts his game above his average performance. What he needs now is someone who's going to be more pacey and physical complementing him. The point I made in the video there as well, it, we do need to get the most out of Maguire. I think it's obvious that we need to sign a new centre-back and until that happens, I don't think we're ever going to see uh, Maguire at his England or Leicester level. It's going to be Maguire at his United level, which I would agree isn't as good as it needs to be. Next comment here from Dooney saying, I feel like we have to stick with him as he was 80 million. So all my thoughts are based on his partner at centre-back. Lindelof is average, needs to go. Bai is good, but he's injury prone. We need a new centre-back. Easy. Think Harry Maguire could improve with Vidic alongside him. I think anybody, any defender in the world would improve with Vidic alongside him. He's the best probably we've ever had in the Premier League era. But... I agree with pretty much everything you said there. We do need that new centre-back and that has to be United's priority this summer. Arian here saying scapegoat. He's a good defender, but the focus is always on what he does wrong and rarely on what he does right. His price tag didn't help him either. And that's why I wanted to do this video, mate, because I do think there are strengths and positives, which I've highlighted here, but I do think there are weaknesses that need to be discussed. So that's exactly why a video like this was needed. One here from Vidge saying, I think he's unfairly treated. He's a very good defender, just can't be the defender in a team. He needs a leader next to him who can command the entire back line, like a Diaz or a Van Dyke. Also, giving him the captain's armband was premature. He'll thrive without that pressure, I feel. In a lot of interesting points there. Let me know what you think in the comments about Maguire as captain. Do you think that taking that away would improve him? Or does taking it away, is that a, sh a, show, a show of no confidence from Solskjaer in his defender? And I agree there that I don't think Maguire, I thought he would be the leader, more of a leader than he is. And I think, as I said, behind the scenes, he clearly must be that leader. But on the pitch during a game, just don't think I see it enough for Maguire. And I'm not sure we ever will. So maybe we, someone like Upamecano can come in and be that leader that we need. Because certainly we need more leadership in terms of our defensive organisation throughout the whole game. And a final comment here from Shueb saying, him and Lindelof just aren't good enough. We have to play two pivots just to support them. There's clearly a lack of communication between the centre-backs and David De Gea. Worrying thing is, Bailly is never fit. Maguire needs someone to marshal him, but we paid 80 million and we still haven't solved it. Now, one thing to remember there is Vincent Company at City was incredible. Look how much money City wasted on centre-backs until they got to Diaz. And he is the man who solved it all for them. A bit like Bruno Fernandes has is, is magically transformed United's midfield and the whole mentality of the team. And Cavani seems to be shaping our attack so much better. We need that sort of centre-back signing. And I think if we do that, we can see a different Maguire. A Maguire more towards the England level, the Leicester level, rather than the, the Maguire we kind of got used to seeing at United. But it's an interesting debate. And I hope this video is sort of fairly balanced and pointed out all the pros and the cons, because that there's arguments on both sides of the fence. So let me know what you think about Maguire in the comments below. What, what you think his future is at United, who we can sign to get the most out of him. Plenty of debate to be had. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments if you want me to do any other ones. Maybe one of David De Gea or I don't know. But you can let me know who else you want in the spotlight after this one.